Good morning. I am selling my RTT mounted on top of a trailer. Got plenty of tongue. Got the, the jack stand. Four pin wiring harness. I'll show you how these steps work when we get the tent open. Two aluminum boxes with side opening. This bracing bracket, I'll show you what that's for when we get it open. Um, there's storage in here. The tent is a Cura, C R U A. cover looks a little baggy because since I have a mount on here I don't use the ladder but the ladder mounts underneath this gusset here and then all the corners are double strapped they're all loose right now the trailer I call this the basement you got storage underneath here aluminum wheels I, I mounted the rails this way because it made it a lot simpler and easier that way the tent can orient. Just to give you a quick view, the tent opens up and rests on those brackets right there. Again, the tent is Cura, C-R-U-A. I, I got plenty of room if you wanted to add a bike rack. That was my, my thought at one point. This is just a rifle box. It's uh, Apache from uh, Harbor Freight. Here's the back of the trailer. That this web comes down. This just pulls out of this pin over here. And that web comes down. You got nice storage space underneath there. Nice clearance. Aluminum wheels. The trailer is actually called the Go Easy. These aluminum boxes, they're really lightweight by themselves. They come with these gaskets right here, which makes them almost water resistant, depending on the angle and the force. I added this for a little extra. Um, it makes for a real nice, real nice fit. And then I've got these. They're mated together right here on the center line. Attached to the Tongue, I've got eight U-bolts, one half on each side of the center line here, holding that down. That's the expanding foam to cover them holes, but then I went and added drain holes anyhow. Here's the that bracing. Just I didn't need much, just a little bit, trying to keep the weight down. And then this uh, plastic box, rotor molded. This is inside that storage area. It's not, this is not lockable. This cabinet here, this cabinet that comes with the trailer is not lockable. It just has a, uh, like a kayak lid that fits on there with a thick rubber ring. So it stays in place. It doesn't go anywhere. But it's not lockable. So I have two buckles on this side to hold these corners down. Now I generally put something on top of here and then strap it to the frame. Just give me that little extra space. I just stuffed the cover in here. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so <clears throat> it rests on your support over here, it's the floor solid. There's little push pins in here. This is down. Generally, when you fold this tent up, 
you want to close these, so, I mean, you leave them open a little bit, but you close them so that the material doesn't bunch up anywhere. One more part. This pole is a brace that's going to hold it. Brace just attaches in there. Pull it down so it's taut. Lock the lever. That's it. And that's what the tent looks like from the outside. I always leave these corners open just so air can breathe when I'm closing it or opening it. This flap right here is what covers this. That's the hinge and it gives you lots of room so you're not stressing the tent. And then that uh, velcro's down and these vents there's a uh, two on each side and two you got the outside layer which is somewhat of that reflective material on the inside to rain water resistant you got screening in here and then you got the inside layer the tent part is easy also you might notice the tent is off the ground went through a lot of rain and every time I camped in a regular tent the mud would splash up on that tent I've never had splash up this high. The tent has these clear vinyl windows on top. Here's underneath where the braces support that. These angle braces, because that aluminum's not that thick, so I had, I had to add these. Didn't have to, I did. Add these extra L brackets, um, corner brackets, to distribute that weight all the way across the top so there wouldn't be any uh, bowing in there. And there's no bowing from that floor, from the rooftop tent. All right, a view from the inside. This mat that comes on here, it's a condensation, anti-condensation mat. It's, it just creates a layer of air. Uh, it's not very thick. The floor underneath, just a smooth uh, part of the tent floor. You can see with the three windows open, I believe that is a fine mesh screen. The tent has these two walls. Let's see if I can get the camera in there, right? It's double, double layered. There's a better place to see it. There's that brace that keeps this front part pushed forward. And you can see the double layer of the screens. So it's well, well built tent. Very breathable tent. Looking around from the outside. Let's see if we can get a better look at. This side, the, the cover is, is rolled back to see the, the skylight, the stargazing window. And this side, the cover is just put in place. There is a screen over that to maintain your, your bug defense. Yeah, that's what the hinges look like when they're opened up. So these poles always stay in place, very sturdy. Underneath here, I've added uh, the anti-fatigue mat. So it gives you a little bit. So if you're walking around there on your knees, or it also adds that insulation from the floor. The floor of the tent, the RTT, is this like aluminum honey core Honeycomb, something like that. It's a very sturdy floor. The center of the fold outside has a brace right there. That just stays there. We don't take it out and we don't move it. It's a very sturdy floor. Uh, supported up front here by these brackets. So you don't feel the floor moving. A few from the back. The package opened up. That step, step that's over here on the tongue, is right about 14 inches. It's about 36 inches, three foot, to the floor of the trailer. So getting in the trailer, easy step. I'm 5'5 five five tall. My wife's a little bit less than that, but easy step, easy knee. When it's time to come out, it'll just scoot to the end. 
put your shoes on, socks on, whatever. Little drop and step down and walk along. All right, breaking down the trailer, I've already closed all the windows. Uh, make sure give me smooth panels, all the windows. Uh, first thing you do is take out your, your center brace. You can store it inside. It fits inside there when it's collapsed. Once it flaps, I leave everything open a little bit so it can breathe. And touching that, there. It lines about halfway. It helps form the gussets. There's no other. Just it up. I don't know what the weight is. It's pretty low. Feel all the air coming out. Open a little bit so the air can get out. Get back in when you're opening it. Keep this stuff in. And press it up. And close it down. And just go around. Tuck it in. Now it's ready to put the cover on. Ninety-six point four pounds. Ninety-six point four. All right. When the tent's folded down, I've got all the the side walls tucked in there into the gussets. You've got this space from this floorboard. That's, that opens up, that's the half that opens up, here's the hinge. You got your tent rails in here, so you got that thickness. And then you got the floor that stays mounted to the trailer. The overall width between the tent poles is about 51 inches. Um, floor to floor, you got about five and three quarter inch. With my half inch fatigue mat on each side, that's one inch, so that gives you about four and three quarter. Um, if you leave the mat in, it's just taped in, you can take it out if you want. And of course, inside here is the anti-condensation mat that stays inside this bag. I have taken and put a, like my folding table in there or chairs in there, and just that becomes part of my, my usable storage space when I'm traveling. Or you can put a mattress inside the tent, but when you fold it over, you just can't get more than that thickness because you don't want this lifting up and then your cover won't fit all right looking at the top of the tent here's a better view of them clear vinyl windows all right here's the only damage i know of on the tent or the trailer the whole package the only damage i know of there's a tiny pinhead hole right right in here i put a piece of gorilla tape on it it's holding really well never seen sign of leaks uh, in fact, even where it's at, no water would probably come in because of the, the tension that's on here when it's pulled tight. Um, and the uh, grill tape's holding really well, so I don't want to disturb it. Trailer weight at the scale. All right, if you want to convert that rooftop tent off the trailer back onto a car, and these are the attaching components that you would need the telescoping ladder the two extension poles to support the corners uh, the two shoe bags there's no room the way i've got it set up right now um, the attaching hardware to to get that ladder on there so we've got them parts if if uh, you're going to convert down the road back to to the top of a car